To find the electron configuration for silicon, we first need to find the number of electrons for the element. We can do that by looking on the periodic table, finding silicon, and going to the atomic number. That's the number above the element symbol. It's the number of protons, but it's also the number of electrons. And once we have the number of electrons, we can use that to write the electron configuration for silicon. For silicon, we have 14 electrons to work with. We'll use the chart on the right to help us write the notation. As we go down the first row, we go through the 1s orbital, and the 1s orbital can hold up to two electrons. So we'll put two electrons in that orbital. We'll go down the next row, we have the 2s orbital. That also can hold up to two. Then the third row, we start out with the 2p, and p orbitals can hold up to six electrons. Let's put all six in there, and we've used 10 electrons so far. We have 14. In the third row, after the 2p, we had gone to the 3s. S orbitals hold up to two. Let's put two in there. We have 12. And then we go on to the fourth row, where we go to the 3p orbital. p orbitals hold up to six, but we only need to put two there. That gives us a total of 14 for silicon. Two plus two plus six, plus two, plus two. That equals 14, and this is the electron configuration for silicon. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.